A barbaric spec spectacle takes place in China every June. Thousands of dogs are brutally killed for meat. This year, yet again, the Yulin Dog Meat Festival has opened despite widespread concerns. It's a breeding ground for a pandemic, but Chinese authorities have done nothing to stop the festival. In China, meat traders snatch dogs from the streets. In some cases, they steal them from people's backyards or buy them from the owners. What follows is inhumanity of the highest degree. The dogs are crammed into wire cages and driven for days without food to slaughterhouses. They are bludgeoned to death. Then the dog carcasses are hooked up at meat markets. You may think it's gory, but the Chinese celebrate it. They have turned this into a festival. The annual Yulin Dog Meat Festival. It's been going on for a decade. And it's on again. The festival is held every June, during one of the hottest weeks of the year. Is this even legal? Here's what the law in China says. Dogs are classified as companions, not livestock. The government promised to prohibit exotic meat trade, but it won't stop this barbaric festival. Over 10,000 dogs will be slaughtered this year as well. Many of these dogs are often sick or injured. Many die on the transport trucks because of dehydration, shock, suffocation and heat stroke. The ones that survive the journey often suffer from low immunity. The conditions are perfect for them to contract a novel coronavirus and become super spreaders. The Yulin dog meat market is a breeding ground for a pandemic. China should know better. The Wuhan virus outbreak is linked to an exotic wet market. Over 9 million cases worldwide. There is a hypothesis that Beijing's second wave of cases emerged from a salmon stall. Over 200 cases in the last 10 days. Allowing mass gatherings to consume dog meat in crowded markets is a public health risk. In February, following a global backlash, China put a temporary ban on exotic meat markets. The Yulin Festival is proof that there's no real reform. Most of the visitors to these markets are elderly men who believe eating dog meat can boost sexual performance. Is no one protesting this? Chinese celebrity dog owners are taking a stand. A vast majority of the Chinese people do not eat dogs. A survey shows 64% of the Chinese people want a ban on the Yulin festival. Dog meat is banned in many Asian countries, including Thailand, the Philippines, Singapore, Taiwan and Hong Kong. Within China, Shenzhen became the first city to ban the consumption of dogs in April, but sporadic measures won't work. China will have to go the whole hog to shut these incubators of disease. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.